Welcome back, financial fam. Another day, another Satoshi indeed. Did you miss me? Have I been gone too long? I apologize for my hiatus. I had things to do, man. <laughs> A bull run will do that to you. Today is Aaron Day. I'm going to try to keep this essay uh, short and concise and informative, not just because, you know, time is our most, most important asset, but I have things to do today. I don't even have time, fam. But we're going to talk about, briefly talk about this NFT wave. How art very, very, very well could be the 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 tipping point for this new run. Uh, briefly about some un domains, the domain wave. What were the top selling domains uh, during the crypto bubble? And then last but not least, we're going to talk about how you could take 10, mm, 10 to 20 percent of your stimmy. Right. And set up a good play for Q3. So any further shenanigans let's get into our first current event badger dao to acquire badger.com now i'm not familiar with this uh technology or crypto at all i'm not even sure where they rank on the marketplace but as uh similar to sushi swap it appears they've already bought another domain name and they spent three hundred thousand dollars now remember sushi uh dot com sushi swap bought sushi.com I cannot remember the exact price. It may have been six figures, but fam, these domain names present day are still selling. Oopsie, hold on. So while people are still buying dot coms, the dot crypto and dot zill wave is quite ugly right around the corner. <laughs> I'm not gonna do too, too, too much on this one because I've honestly never even heard of Badger. So I'm gonna let, um, I'm let you guys do that on your own research but next order of business though fam this is something you need to know and if you don't know trust me someone's gonna call you and tell you what they heard about it acclaimed digital artist beeple collaborator alberto miguelo announces nft drop now i'm not sure if you guys remember but this is a very very recent a gentleman drew a picture oh, <laughs> several pictures 5,000 of them over well over 5,000 of them drew a picture a day right so that's like well over 10 years of just drawing pictures but anyway he was able to collage like all of these pictures to one huge you know collage sold for 69 million dollars literally making him one of one of if not the most wealth uh people this is people i'm talking about making him the wealthy one of the wealthiest artists that's still alive so imagine drawing one picture every day for over 10 years <laughs> and then finally like man my tablet is on the way that's all i'm saying my tablet is on the way known for his work with the gorillas spider-man and love death and robots the emmy award-winning artist is preparing an nft drop arguably so for years alberto has been producing digital art for movies television and commercials Notable works include an episode of Netflix, Love, Death, and Robots, for which he has his 70-plus man team work on multiple Emmys. Music videos for the Gorillas. Okay, that's pretty dope. Oh, that dude about to make cake. Nerds taking power. <laughs> See, I have a lot of homies who draw digitally. I, I, I fall in the category of I used to sketch a lot, right, like in my little pads and stuff. Never have I ever even thought about transmuting those talents online because that's that that in itself is still new to me. But when you I'm on Instagram like all the time, like just loving everyone pieces of art I could find. But knowing that there is like a an avenue for the artist to go to and literally like gone are the days of the starving artist <laughs> in every single way. I've met a myriad of people who draw, who paint, who, who, who really have artistic expression and they're really going to find your niche on this blockchain. Personal hypothesis. You don't even have to get too much in the um, the NFTs. Just if you are very, very confident in your work or bare minimum, you just l would like to build a small archive to put on the blockchain. I'm telling you right now, this is the time. Perhaps you're not the type to really understand holding on a Cardano. Perhaps you're not the type to really understand. OK, I buy Bitcoin. I hold it. But when you actually get a chance to work on the blockchain, I think that's going to be a not only is that going to catapult this market into uh, un <laughs> unseen charts. But it is going to give you a different feeling knowing that you're contributing. So to all of my artists out there, please, 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 please consider, please consider. I remember when I was in high school. Um, oh, you know, I retract that back. I, I have uploaded. I remember I was in high school. There was this website called DeviantArt, right? And 
like who like whatever however you drew whatever it did not matter you can just upload it network with people get likes or whatever i'm really seeing like a 2.0 of that right now and i used to love deviantart i used to be on there like every day i don't even know if it's still around now but yeah enough about that we're gonna go into the next piece of news fam for all my nba heads it's hard to love the league now. I feel like the league going obsolete, to be honest with you. But that don't mean no money can be made off it. Collector turns down a million dollars for NBA Top Shot moment originally bought for 100000 Fam. Now, we all know, or at least we should know, about the partnership between NBA Top Shot and the NBA, right? Now, I'm not sure if any of you are subscribed to ESPN or, or Bleacher Report or anything like that. Fam. They have in every way turned to like CSNBC. <laughs> They're not even talking about sports. The They don't care. They're like, all right, bro, where is this money at? You'll be surprised. I'm not lying. Like go on, go on your most recent ESPN video or excuse me, go on their channel and scroll down. You're not going to scroll long before you see them talking about stuff like this. So basically digital card or excuse me, collector collectible cards. We're going digital now, fam. It may seem like a lot. It may seem like that'll never work. Fam, I'm telling you right now, it is working. Launch, or I believe NBA Top Shot is still in its beta phase, though. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of kinks to work out, but I really do see this going somewhere. Already got people like Spencer Dinwiddie, Aaron Gordon. Uh, I can't remember the last fellow. Not only endorsing it, but understanding. Of course, the NBA. You got to understand, I'm not going to be hooping forever in the eyes or excuse me, in the mind of a athlete. So constantly uh, pushing your mind to see where the next move is, is fun. Now, this is why this is particularly interesting to me. A collector of a prize NFT from Dapper Labs. Dapper Labs is the people who own NBA Top Shot fam. Fun fact, they're also the brain children behind Crypto Kitties. <laughs> the first, like, I guess you can call it Dap that nearly crushed Ethereum. So. Not only does Ethereum, you know, have a little bit more work to do before it can be scaled. But I'm thinking these new NFTs as far as art, domain names, collectible cards. We're going to have to have a blockchain strong enough to handle all of them, because I'm more than sure there's developers out there creating depth specifically to see if it can crash Ethereum. You see what I'm saying? So, like, if I wanted to make a video game or something with just extremely high refresh rates or whatever and just like like basically how high can i get this before it crashes so we could be a couple years out before we get before we see these things on ethereum's blockchain but with so many other blockchains around who knows who knows now the million dollar offer that this gentleman turned down is for a zion williamson uh card now zion's only in the second year so we all know how he's probably going to be one of the top top dogs in a league five to ten years from now Five to ten years, uh, Zion, you know, Ja, Luca, uh, perhaps Melo, they're going to be like leading the league. So any one of those cards are going to be worth a lot. Now, the collector, Jer Levine, I, be I believe, bought the number one jersey match S1 hologram Zion Williams NFT on January 25th for $100,000. Damn. Yeah, and they do sell for that much, fam. I'm going to show you in a second. The token is of legendary rarity. That means the serial number that he picked was really 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 low so i mean since he had that low serial number that matched that's what made the card so rare and he was offered a million dollars and he turned it down i'm not gonna lie i might uh i might have got rid of that thing there's uh some other cards remember guys i told you lebron james rookie card sold for about two hundred thousand. uh that was no or excuse me no that was his laker card i don't even think that was his rookie card his laker uh card sold for two hundred thousand. So, uh, yeah, people are really, really going in on this top shot. I am too, fam. I'm not even going to lie. I tried to, uh, I got my little count made. They are sold out of packs until who knows. I think they're still in their beta phase, but I don't know. We can go to the marketplace real quick so I can just give you a brief synopsis on, like, what they have and what's being sold. Fam, you are not going to believe. You are not going to believe. Well, damn, if it refresh. Okay. There's nice moments here. I'm not going to lie. But, man, when you see the price. Like, let's see this. Kyle Anderson is only selling for $6. I don't care about that. No disrespect to Kyle Anderson. It's just, okay, let's look at DeMar DeRozan. Nice jumper, right? Now, the lowest ask is for $42. Top sale is for $70. That's not bad. Now, where it says pick a serial number, right? 
the lower the serial number that's how rare it is that's the that's the rarity factor so that's why it's selling for four thousand dollars but if you go lower the lower the serial number you see the lower the price so you always want to get the rare ones or at least try to aim for the rare ones I want some specific moments found I'm not even gonna lie I'm waiting for these packs to open up again so I can at least buy a pack but I don't know when these packs are gonna be up but I'm not gonna lie damn if I could have if I could have any moment or any moments man I would love I would love a jaw moment of him posterizing or throwing an alley-oop to himself. I need Damian Lillard dismantling the OKC. Reminding Paul George he is not who he think he is. Or maybe a Dame Lillard with buzzer beater. And anything, any, anything of Dame just shooting, I'll take it. Some people like Steph, I'm a Dame fan. And then probably Giannis jumping over Tim Hardaway. That's going to sell for a crazy amount. Let me see how much they want for this Dame. They want $30,000 for this. See, no, we're not doing this right now. I'm just going to have to wait until these packs open, fam. See, these are Rising Star Pack selling for $200. Seeing Star selling for $1,400. You can always go to the marketplace, but yeah, they sold out. You can put your email, you <laughs> sign up for notifications when they're going to be back in. But yeah, fam, they already made like well over a quarter of a billion dollars. So where this is going to go moving forward is going to be very interesting to say the least. But uh, keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open indeed. Now, real, real quickly. Remember when I was talking about NFTs? Now, for all the homies who draw, I'm thinking about my homie Sketchnificent in particular. I really, really hope this message gets to you, homie, because I feel like you can really emancipate yourself with this new move. Now, this this isn't mine at all. This is dope, though. But this is just an example of, like, remember when I was talking about DeviantArt, right? This is just an example of just... Just a little NFT someone made. Now it could have value. Let's say someone made like a hundred of these, right? And it had value. You can like give them out and have those. You can either have use them as a collectible, which I would personally, or whichever merchant that accepts accepts NFTs, you can translate the value to it. So this is just an example of an NFT. They have cards. Hold on, let's go back a little bit. Let's go back. Oh no, my computer is not acting like that. All right. So this is our. I wanted to go. Hang on. Oh, here we go. Trading cards. Oh yeah, this is Open C too. It's like a. It's not as was well, one of like I think two to three like real big auction places you can sell your NFTs and stuff. That's actually pretty dope. I don't even know what that is. But no, these are trading cards. People people literally remake like Pokemon cards, uh, football, and I mean like soccer, English soccer cards, uh, just crazy things the look at this these are popular like the crypto punks like the little digitized pixelated drawings for whatever reason they're hella popular i remember some dude made like well over like eight thousand dollars with one of these things like see this one's selling for like ninety four hundred dollars <laughs> i don't know man like if i'm selling art i need mine to be like a one-on-one i need mine to be like oh snap but I ain't gonna lie, fam. It's very, it's, it's definitely something to look into. Please look into, bare minimum, bare minimum, look into it because it'll, it, it'll be a such a bad thing to see something you could have done and made thousands upon thousands, if not ten thousand dollars on it, if you just would have got up and did something with it. This is very interesting. What is this? Eighteen thousand dollars. I'm not gonna lie, that is very interesting looking though. I know some artists who when i say their their hand is on some other stuff like they can literally like just draw you in with their mind so i definitely don't want to see you guys left behind the eight ball with this we're still in the precipice of what it is or the preface of what it is excuse me like the beginning stages but big 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 moves don't get left behind the eight ball now real real quick no wrong wrong one these are just some of the um domains some of the most expensive sales of domain names on nft ever so it's like one of them uh hold on am i on the wrong tab before i just start talking i think the most uh win dot crypto sold for like a hundred thousand no that's the zill yeah win dot crypto sold for like a hundred thousand dollars um i think there was another one 
I had a like a list. Now these are the dot zil domains, the top sixty dot zil domains that's on auction. So there's Bitcoin dot zil, crypto dot zil, porn dot zil, all that other stuff. But um, yeah, fam, domain names could be the new wave. Somebody sold, like I said, somebody sold win dot crypto. Now what they're gonna do with that? Who knows? But he made a quick hundred thousand. Now you can go to unstoppable domains. That's where you make your domain name. I'm not gonna lie, it costs about forty dollars to make your domain. And then you can have to claim it with either gas or you have to pay another forty dollars to uh, get a claim credit. And once you get it, that's where you can start building your website on top of it and or sending a, a myriad of tokens to yourself, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, like whatever. And that's the purpose of the domain name, not just to represent your likeness, have your information on the website, but also simultaneously to serve as an address for your crypto. Now, here's the dope part. You can sell your domain, too. I'm trying to I have like two domains. I'm about to get another one next week, but I'm trying to sell this one. Is it? This? Yeah, I bought like Sacramento Kings See, I tell you, I thought I was just y'all thought I was joking. I'm not playing, bro. I'm selling this for 100 Ethereum. <laughs> like I'm about to put this on the I'm about to see if somebody need this, bro. Sacramento Kings crypto. All right, we've been going on for a minute, minute, minute. So we about to wrap this up real quick because I have to go, fam. Now Biden already passed. Damn, we in the green. Biden already passed like the 1.4, 1.9 stimmy, right? So good news, bad news. We don't have to ramble about this because we've spoken on this before. Now, bad news is uh, unemployment is incredibly high, homie. What are we going to do? When you don't know when your next lick is going to be, when you don't know when your next piece of income is going to be, that could be very, very hectic. Sometimes it leads to irrational decisions. Now, let's talk about some good news real quick. For those of you who have income, for those of you who are constantly forward thinking it takes a little more than a pandemic to keep you stagnant, family, this is a blessing. And I'm going to explain why. Now, $1,400. Uh, I'm not going to lie. That's not that ain't shit. <laughs> That is not a lot of money enough. Unless you have like dependents or something like that. You got like three kids, something like that. You you, you might come up a little bit, but for uh, all you single people, no dependents, are uh, you still grinding? You know, you're stuck in the grind, whatever. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not a CPA or anything like that, but I can honestly attest. If you take 10 to 20% of that, $140 to $280, and I, and I do realize, I don't know when the next time I'm going to see this. Yeah, all that, all that. If you just take $140, $280 and put that in something that you've been studying since the beginning of this year, paper trading, fam, I'm telling you, quarter three, you're like, damn, I should have put $1,000 in. Now, very, very briefly, I'm not going to uh, be like, okay, do this coin because that's y'all job. But I will say it costs about $600 to get 1% of a Bitcoin right now. So think pre-STEMI, right? No one's really put their stimmy in a Bitcoin right now. And think about the people who are going to put all of their stimulus in a Bitcoin. People who are, for whatever reason, are already well financial off. Any extra money is just extra money, right? You could either opt for Bitcoin. That's only going to use you like 2%, though. <laughs> if you could use your whole stimmy, you're probably going to get 2.5% of Bitcoin, which I'm not going to lie. That is something. You probably get one Binance token. $140 over 80, probably get 120 pieces of Cardano, which may not be that bad. But family, basically what I'm saying, those technologies that you've been paper trading, reading, look at VeChain. VeChain is damn near at seven cents. Damn. It's moving kind of fast. It, it literally was just at three cents, like not even a quarter ago. But man, yeah, I don't want to get into the number game one because I've been feel like I've been going on. A little longer than i've anticipated but fam yeah please 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 paper trade and do not do anything that's gonna put you in quarter three like damn because a lot of you still i know you still feel like the um we're still in the beginning of the year right oh i still had a lot of time with you fam quarter two is quite literally next week you don't have as much time as you think time is sprinting time is on this usain bolt right now so the only job you have it's just to take advantage because time is the only asset that we do have. So please do not let it manipulate you. I do realize that these times are very trying. Um, These times are very, they can bring apprehension, but I promise you, if you just stand solid. God, it's time to go. Fam. I'm sorry. I got to get out of here, man. I've been around. I've been going on. But yeah, protect your private keys. Please protect your private keys and uh, that paper trader stuff. Yeah, fam, we about to get in quarter two that all that paper trading done. You need to have something that you have.
that you feel 100% confident in. And it's time to take that risk. Being risky is the new safe. I do not want to hear about this. Oh, I'm not trying to lose anything, fam. You will be left behind if you do not get up behind this eight ball. There's a myriad of technologies. It don't even have to be crypto. To be completely honest, it don't even have to be crypto. Like whatever your thing is, I promise there's an avenue for it on the blockchain, fam. I do apologize for the length of this video, but um, no, I don't apologize for the length of this video. Y'all gonna do y'all homework and y'all gonna protect y'all private keys, man. And I will see y'all in the playoffs. We out.